so hey there guys welcome back today to another video on this channel today i'm back again with the marvelous series harry potter series i'm going to resume it and today i'm here with the fourth book in this amazing series which is harry potter and the goblet of fire written by jk rowling another splendid furious novel in the harry potter series i really love the way how jk rowling brings in more really amazing novels in her series this is the turning point in the harry potter series because this marks the rebirth of the dark lord himself yes the dark lord is reborn full of vengeance and he wants revenge he wants to kill harry potter the last time he attempted to kill harry he was himself almost killed but now he's really curiously suspicious things are going to happen at hogwarts and some unexpected twists are ought to happen so without any further ado let's say just dive right into it and before that let me tell you the gist of the book which is behind it the triwizard tournament is to be held at hogwarts only wizards who are over 17 are allowed to enter but that doesn't stop harry dreaming that he will win the competition when the, then at the Halloween, when the Goblet of Fire makes its selection, Harry is amazed to find his name in one of those that the Magical Cup picks out. He will face death-defying tasks, dragons and dark wizards. But with the help of his best friends, Ron and Hermione, he might just make it through. A lie. So Harry has involved himself in some death-defying tasks and some really adventurous things are ought to happen. So let's dive into the storyline and let's see what happens. Well, the book starts off as usual. Harry Potter waiting for yet another amazing year at Hogwarts school. He was going to his fourth year in Hogwarts. He spends a few days of a summer with the Dursleys while the rest of the summer with the Weasleys. He goes there and sees the Quidditch World Cup for the first time ever. He sees the finals. And after the Quidditch World Cup, some things happen that make everybody shocked and scared. The dark, there was a mark in the sky of a green skull along with a snake. Harry did not know what it meant, but he was told by his best friend that that was the mark, the dark mark, which means the dark lord has come back. So after that incident, everybody was scared and everybody, you know, seemed overprotected. And even Harry Potter's godfather, Sirius Black, seems to have Harry Potter stay with his friends and not, go, not going outside at the late hours because he wants Harry to be protected. Because everybody knows that Voldemort wants Harry Potter. So as we go deeper, as the Hogwarts year starts, uh, all the students of Hogwarts are told that the Triwizard Cup is to be held at Hogwarts School after really many years. The reason why it was cancelled for many years was because of the constant deaths of the champions that were selected. Yes, these were death-defying tasks and they had ma there were many champions who had died. And now it is finally resumed after taking many precautionary measures, of course. So the Tri-Wizard Tournament, as the name suggests, Tri-Wizard, it involves three wizards or witches to compete in one tournament. Three from each of the school. There were three schools involved in this tournament and they all had come to Hogwarts for this tournament. Though the first school was Hogwarts, the second one was Bukes Battens and the third one was Durmstrang. So they had one day to put their name in Goblet of Fire. So this Goblet of Fire was the impartial and unbiased judge. It will select the champions from each of the schools and it will select according to which each if the champion is totally worthy enough to complete the challenges. So it was totally unbiased judge and one day had passed and the day had finally arrived when the Goblet of Fire would call out its selections so from hogwarts it was cedric diggory a seventh year hufflepuff student who had also competed with harry potter in the last year's quidditch cup not quidditch cup uh, in the quidditch match and from bukes battles 
it was Fleur Delacour and from Dumb Strang, it was Victor Crumb. World class seeker. He was known for his seeking abilities and he was the seeker of Bulgaria. He had also ha had played as a seeker in the World Cup final, Ireland versus Bulgaria. So then, as Albert Albus Dumbledore faced the students and cheered the champions, some unexpected thing happened. The Goblet of Fire shot out another name in the air and Dumbledore caught it. He read it out aloud to all the students, Harry Potter. Yes, it is totally unbelievable, but there are many unbelievable things that are happening in the Harry Potter book. So Harry Potter was the fourth champion in the Triwizard Tournament. This was the only tournament that had four champions. Because as Bartimus Crouch, one a sort of a head of all these, had told that they had to abide the rules and now Harry Potter had to participate in the Triwizard Tournament. This, there were some death-defying tasks, but Harry had to face it, even though he was underage. So what happens is that there are many... Oh, first, let me tell you that there are many new characters that are introduced in this book. J.K. Gowling brings out really amazing new characters and her description is totally fantabulous. She brings many characters, she gives a detailed description about them, and we get to imagine the type of the character he is and, you know, everything about that character. Like, uh, Bartimus Crouch is also introduced, Bartimus Crouch Jr., about whom we'll get to know in the ending, and Professor Kyrkroft, who is the head of the Drum Strang School, Madame Maxime, who was the head of the Bukes Battens, and Professor Mad Eye Moody, who was the new defense against the Dark Arts teacher for Harry Potter. So, Professor Mad Eye Moody, it was actually, it was not his real name. His name is Professor Alastair Moody. He was an aura. So, an aura is a person who hunts down the dark wizards and put them in Azkaban. Azkaban is the prison of the magical world. So half of the Dark Wizards were now in Azkaban thanks to Professor Mad Eye Moody. So as per the description of J.K. Rowling, he had a magical eye in one of his eyes and the other one was a normal eye. This magical eye had the capability to see through invisibility cloaks that was totally wicked. That's how he got to see Harry Potter even though he was wearing his invisibility cloak. He was also able to, uh, Professor Mad Eye Moody was also able to see behind his back. So yes, after that the first task came nearer and the first task was to face dragons. Harry Potter and the rest of the champions had to face dragons. There were four dragons, each for each and every champion. And there was one dragon that was really horrible, the Hungarian Horntail. It was very dangerous. And for Harry Potter's fate, he got the Hungarian Horntail. But he completed the task, he succeeded, and he completed the task in the quick quickest amount of time. So then the second task came near. So the first task was to fetch a golden egg and as Harry did that, the golden egg was a clue to the second task, what was going to happen in the second task. But I'm not going to spoil to you guys about the second task. It's up to you to find out. Let us say go with the third task. So the third task was to go through a really huge maze. This maze was now in the Quidditch grounds and this maze, in the center of this maze, was the Triwizard Cup waiting for the champions. So since Harry Potter and Cedric Diggory were tied up in the first place, they were able to go through the maze first. This Triwizard Cup was kept in the middle of the maze by Professor Mad Eye Buddy. So as we see Harry Potter's really deadly day uh, adventure through the maze, well, it was not a normal maze. It has its own hindrance like facing some really dangerous creatures and answering to some questions and after that Harry and Cedric Diggory managed to take the cup at the same time. When they took the cup they were teleported to somewhere else. Harry did not know where he was going to be teleported because the judge did not inform them. But when they get teleported Harry's car 
starts burning like hell. He feels as if his head is being split. And then came Wormtail. Yes, Peter Pettigrew, who had escaped in the previous book, is now back with a baby. And that baby was the baby Lord Voldemort. And as Peter, Peter Pettigrew came out, he took out his wand and killed Cedric Diggory by performing one of the unforgivable, unforgivable curses, the Avara Kedavra, the killing curse. And after that, he tied up Harry Potter and put Lord Voldemort in a cauldron filled with sort of like liquid. And after that, he put the flesh, blood and bone. Flush of the servant, which was Wormtail, blood of the villain, Harry Potter, and the bone of the father of Voldemort, of course. So together, after the mixed, then rose Lord Voldemort, once again back in power. So he was teleported. Harry Potter was now was in the cemetery, and that's where Lord Voldemort had come back in his full power. And now he was about to kill Harry Potter. A terrifying, immensely splendid fight is about to begin. The battle between Harry Potter and Lord Voldemort is worth reading. I'm not going to tell you that. It's up to you to find out. This the battle was literally the main part of the book. So if we compare the book along with the movie, the book was much lengthier and much interesting, I would say. It's my opinion than the movie. Well, the movie was good, but the book was better. It had many parts that the movie did not have. And the Ludo Bagman, one of the characters in the book, was totally not there in the movie. Well, I won't say that the movie was not good at all. The movie was good, but the book was better. So, yes, this was my review of this book and my summary of this book i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did grab this book check it out this was a great adventurous read about harry potter facing lord voldemort i would say this is my most favorite book in the harry potter series till now because in this book the dark lord has risen once again so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did Make sure you leave a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the post notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video on this channel. And I'll meet you guys in my next video. Till then, goodbye.